ki ora anō tātou. E nei anō tētahi o Ngātino Whārani o te hōtaka o te pukorero. Uh, this is a Pūkenga Rewa Waha checklist um, and get sent out in the pack of induction material um, as soon as you agree to be involved in the programme. This is to gather baseline data on each of the children that you'll have in your focus group. Um, and it's simple to fill out. As you can see, I've already begun filling out um, the name of the student. In this case, it's Rohina. He kōtiro ia. She's in year three. I started filling this out on the 3rd of April, 2020. Her first language is English. Second language, Māori. And she comes from a bilingual kāinga. You'll notice that we ask you to fill it out three times throughout the 10-week programme. Once is prior to the induction hui. Um, and those that initial um, gathering of data is based on OTJs, your OTJs. Um, time two is halfway through the 10-week programme. And then time three is at the end of the programme. The first list of pūkenga uh, come from basic communication skills. Um, so whether or not they're able to follow classroom directions, um, do they know how to mihi, can they describe things. And basically all we ask you to do each time is to indicate whether they can do this in English or Māori or both. And you work your way through the list indicating what they can do in each of the languages or if they can do it in both languages. The same goes for the CALP list or the Academic Language Proficiency list. So you'll see that there's a bit of a um, jump from the basic skills to the academic skills. Here it becomes quite more becomes more specific um, around learning tasks from different curriculum areas and again we ask you to fill this in three times and to indicate what they can do in English, in Māori or in both. You may see some gaps which is understandable um, and hopefully as they work through the program these gaps start to get filled in and each time you'll update to show whether or not there's been some progression. So you'll notice that in uh, from time one to time two and three, Rohina um, had trouble initially understanding explanations, um, but now she can understand those in both English, Māori, right through to the end of the program. And that's how you fill out the Rewa Waha checklist. Kia ora tātou.